Hello everyone. So I've managed to get my hands on to a real iPhone 4S, which everybody knows is famous for its Siri, and I'm going to compare it to the voice actions application from the Android market for Android, and I'll put these two head to head, give put them through a few questions, and we'll look at the performance. Before we start, to make it fair. I'll show that the language settings are the same for both. So in this case, the Siri settings is English United Kingdom. And for voice actions, the language is United Kingdom as well. Alright, so let's get started. Alright. Right, the first question will be the tallest building of the world. So let's see if they can identify. What is the tallest building in the world? Checking on that for you. This might answer your question. Burj Khalifa, formerly known as Burj Dubai. The skyscraper in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. And the tallest man-made structure ever built. So, as you can see, voice actions will retrieve the information from true knowledge, read it out, and present you with a picture. While Siri over here, it will ceremoniously get the question, throw it to Wolfram Alpha, and give you the results right next will be the circumference of the earth right what is the circumference of the earth let me think about that i found this for you 40,076 Kilometers twenty four thousand nine hundred and two point one three miles. All right, so from this we can see that for factual numerical numbers, Siri will go to Wolfram Alpha and get the information from there. While uh, voice actions they go to the same source through knowledge and see whatever answer they can get from there. Now we'll ask about the speed of light which is still numerical data. What is the speed of light? Let me check that for you. Okay, here goes. Alright, so again, we can see that Siri is quite reluctant to read out the answer for you. Instead, she will just ask you to read it yourself. While voice actions will read out the answer for you in a very robotic way. So last, let's ask, let's ask about something non-numerical. I'm going to ask them, what is Manchester United? Well, Manchester United is the football club, so for someone who doesn't know, might want to ask them. What is Manchester United? Manchester United, the football club, called Manchester United, based in the city of Manchester, UK. Alright. So let's ask Siri. What is Manchester United? Sorry, I can't help you with flights. So I think Siri is confusing Manchester United with 
United Airlines and that's why it can't search for what is Manchester United. Okay, now let's ask who is the CEO or rather who is the founder of Google? Who is the founder of Google? Let me think. Okay, here you go. Lawrence Edward Larry Page born March 261,973 in Lansing, Michigan. The American entrepreneur and Sergey Brin born August 21st, 1973. The Russian-born American entrepreneur who co-founded Google with Larry Page. Then this is Siri. So apparently there's only one founder of Google instead of two, which we know. So Siri only shows you the co-founder of Google, one of them. So I can see this picture is not really representative of Larry Page or Sergey Brin. It's an Indian couple, which is quite hilarious. Now, moving on, let's ask both of them about math. The first question will be, what is 12 divided by 4? What is 12 divided by 4? So as you can see just now, um, <clears throat> because the voice actions application took a while longer to respond, actually it's just taking a longer time to make sure that the query has been completed while Siri began the search much earlier after I finished talking. So while you're still talking, a voice actions actually um, captured some of the answer from Siri but then it came out with an answer as well what is 12 divided by 4 hey girl which came out with 3 girl which is the correct answer as well so this is the response from Siri via Wolfram Alpha right now to reduce interference I will go one by one so let's start with Siri first. What is 3 times 2? How about a web search for what is Trifim still? Okay. What is 3 multiplied by 2? Checking on that for you. Would you like to search the web for 3 multiplied by 2? 3 multiplied by 2. I don't understand. Three multiplier by two. What is three times two? I found this for you. Okay. What is three multiplied by two? Okay, so now let's try currency conversion. Convert one US dollar to Malaysian ringgit.
Checking on that for you. How about a web search for convert one US dollar to Malaysian ringgit? Convert one US dollar to Malaysian ringgit. Let me check on that. Okay, here you go. Okay, this does it very well. Convert one US dollar to Malaysian ringgit. Okay, it will force a Google search. So in this case, using Siri will be faster because it goes through both from Alpha, while because voice actions goes through, it's limited, limited uh, knowledge pool. So it pings up for a Google search much faster. So now let's try some localized content. So as far as Malaysia is concerned, Siri is not proficient in this area yet. So I'll just show you something. The first I'll ask is where's the nearest Pizza Hut? Show me the nearest Pizza Hut. I can only look for businesses in the United States and when you're using US English. Sorry about that. Show me the nearest Pizza Hut. So, um, <clears throat> voice actions perform the query through Google Maps. And of course, if you do the same through Google Maps, you will get the result as well. If you are not you, you're doing it through Siri. Let's search. Nearest Pizza Hut. So it's the same result. So if it can use it, it can make queries through Google Earth or Google Maps. I'm not sure why Apple is not implementing the linkage in Siri in this case. So that's one thing to consider. Now to show off voice actions even more. Show me the nearest hospital. So apparently that is my nearest hospital. So in Google Maps, you tap here, you get a list of all the results. Now the place where Siri truly excels is in personalized function. Like for example, set me a reminder for tomorrow 2 p.m. for an exam on material science. I can't update reminders. Sorry about that. Okay, if you can't update reminders. Remind me tomorrow 2 p.m. for an exam on material science. Here's your reminder for tomorrow at 9 a.m. Shall I create it? No. Okay, I won't remind you. So you can see the natural language processing is very good, but not so well for voice actions. Remind me tomorrow 2 p.m. for an exam on material science. Shall I remind you tomorrow at 2 p.m.? Yes. Okay, I will. Okay, so 
I ask for tomorrow it says two minutes but in actual fact it did set for tomorrow 2 p.m. But as you can see it says tomorrow at 2 p.m. for an exam on material science so one last thing I would like to show off is weather how's the weather like it'll be wet out there okay, then it shows there how is the weather like which is about right so that's it for the video comparison of Siri and Y sections on iOS, iPhone and the Android platform so you make your own conclusions they are of course not ready for prime time yet this one not for local content this one not for natural language processing so we'll see where it goes from here a few months from now one year from now see if it gets any better thanks for watching